Welcome into our Cat Connection. We're joined by Caleb Cusero, senior for the Marshalltown Bobcat Boys baseball team, recipient of the Al and Donna Hoop Memorial Scholarship in 2024. What was it like when you received that scholarship last week? Um, it, was, it was very exciting. Um, any scholarship towards my future education is very important to me and my family just to help with stability and making sure that I won't struggle next year. All right, so what's what's for you next at the next level with that scholarship? So I'm continuing my education at the University of Iowa in nursing and radiology. For So I'm transferring in there pretty much a, almost a junior, but I'll be there for two, three years. Awesome. So you kind of laid the groundwork in high school getting those those cred, credits, right? Yep, I, I'm transferring over with about 45 college credits. That's impressive because uh, I remember when I was in high school, I, I took about 10 or 15, you know, and I thought that was a lot at the time, but that's really grown. So that educational component, you know, we talk about you so much. You see out there on the, the football field and, and all the other sports and out here on the baseball diamond, but it's the athletic component. How do you kind of, how have you been able to, to manage that over your career? Um, it's been pretty stressful. I get really psyched out about it. I mean, last summer I um, when I was playing baseball, I did two online classes, but it's just balancing out school and sports because school technically comes first. Um, you have to have good grades to play. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the main part about school. It's not about the sports, it's about continuing your education. And it's all those other components, too, that you know, makes you the winner of the Al, Ho Al and Donna Hoop Memorial uh, Scholarship because, you know, what I hear from coaches and just see from you out there on the field, you're a great leader. You've you've played uh, all four years at the varsity level and, and been able to, to kind of grow as a baseball player. How much pride do you take in not only wearing that Bobcat logo with pride, but also being a good team leader and a role model? I'm just proud to represent Marshalltown in the best way possible, making sure I'm on the field, I'm leaving it out, but I'm also being respectful to everyone else on the field and representing Marshalltown strong. Yeah. You know, a lot of good names on the list of previous winners of this award. One on the coaching staff, Nick Rebick. What's your relationship with him? Me and Coach Rebick have always been really close. I mean, he likes to give me crap on, on <laughs> and off the field, but that's just the relationship we've always had. He's always been the person on every sport every position is he's always been the one that to instruct me and be a leader to me you guys remind me so much of, of, of one another I mean good team leaders uh, kind of that blue collar work ethic both you guys going out there what's it like to call him coach though this year <laughs> it's definitely a sore spot because he likes he likes to hold that against me like if I joke around too hard he'll make me run that's just part of it yeah that's uh, that's pretty awesome but you know what's it also like to see this program struggle over the past few years but guys coming back, you know, Colton Hankey, a former Bobcat, Coach Hansen involved this year, Nick Rebick, and a few others uh, on the coaching staff that are former Bobcats himself. That just shows how all of the work Coach Hansen has put on the field, and then when he left, that just reflects on how our program went. And then having all those guys come back and show that this program can be good, but it's just going to take a lot, it's going to take a couple years to get the ground rules and the foundation to be a better team. You know, so much can be said about just looking at the record. You know, I know you guys only had five wins this year, six years ago. It's been a struggle, but I think what says more about you and other guys on the team is that that wasn't a deterrent. You know what I mean? Guys kept coming back, giving everything they had every night. How much charisma, things of that nature, does this team have? We, we, we struggled a bit, but we definitely have the integrity that I don't think any other team has. Obviously, it's hard to look at the record, but our team, we don't look at it. We're just spending the summer together, um, and not everyone has the courage to do that. Mm -hmm. That, that is for sure well said and speaks a lot about the character on this team. You and Dale Green, the only seniors on this team. And, and Dale, from what I heard, he didn't play since eighth grade. But, man, he's been he's been awesome to watch this year. Yes, he has been very – I've never seen anyone quit the sport for four years, pick up a bat, and be able to swing it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive. This is your final athletic season of your high school career. What's it meant to you? It's meant a lot. If Obviously, baseball has been rough. But it's just, I'm happy to be there for the juniors, Sam, Taven, and Stup. Hey, it's been a blast to watch you your entire career. Best of luck when you go to college, all right? Thank you. All right, that is Caleb Cusero with us right here on Your Home for the Cats, KFJB-TV.